I remember first day in year seven, obviously I was a bit nervous and I was slightly scared. The attitude was like, if you're cool, you get the most respect, you get the most friends and everything. Uh, as soon as we became an academy, as soon as their teachers came, it all changed, the culture in the school changed. It was more about how much you read, how smart you were and what grades you were getting. There. I came to England in 26th of August, 2012. At first it was quite intimidating because like, I had very bad English and not knowing the language, it was very hard to communicate with others. But as time went on, my English got better and then I interacted with more people. I joined extra clubs with Miss Wynne, with the EAO team, which helped my English and did um, um, club activities. And I started enjoying my school a lot. Teacher, um, like always being there to help you, like always reaching out for you, and like always available when you need them. And especially Miss Wynn and Miss Lawman, they were always there for me. I suffered from kind of a lot of moving issues with personal life. And I've moved around quite a lot. I've lived in Thamesmead, Belvedere, Croydon, Greenwich, back to Eltham throughout my secondary school life. Six houses in five years. And I found that the sixth form team definitely helped me a lot with like support. I was offered counselling so I had someone to talk to. And they understood the fact where I was coming from so far away with my moving issues. So that kind of helped me to like be able to stay on top of my studies and come in every day. Having especially Miss Ingram to talk to and that kind of in confidence I felt like I was able to tell her about my personal life and some of the struggles that I was dealing with and she was, I just looked up to her as she's my mum, kind of, she's just my, my mum in school so it definitely helped a lot. So in year 10 I didn't really like school, I'd just go into lessons and get sent out within the first five minutes but now the new me is trying to do work and trying to learn. I realised that school's running now and it's probably the best time of your life and you should just focus and get the grades you need to do well in life. With Miss Cable, from the minute you walk in you have a do now and then you're always working until the minute you leave. She knows how to, she, she works with Mr McMillan quite close and she knows how to get the grades and she's teaching us the easiest way. To do it. I'd just like to say thanks for helping us and I want to do well in life, I want to get my grades. I knew about the Harris Federation and the Harris Schools and I knew that it was a school and a federation that I wanted to be involved with because they have absolutely uh, no doubt that all children can succeed uh, no matter of their starting points, no matter of their backgrounds, their social situation, their ethnicity, their race, their gender and um, chose to come and work here because of the, the values, the ethos, the aims and the demands of the school. I genuinely believe that education is a vehicle for change, um, is a vehicle that's going to allow everybody to achieve irrespective of starting points and here that's something that reverberates through the leadership team, through the staff, through the training and ultimately through the kids. If you're a child and you come to this school, uh, you can expect that your teachers will try as hard for you as they possibly can. They will give you the best shot at education, the best opportunities that they can. I was not getting it right at all. Then they just thought, oh, like, we can't keep her here. They was always telling me, like, you won't make it past year nine. Like, you're not going to get accepted into any schools. No sixth form's going to take you. You won't be able to get a good job. And um, there's always that putting me down. Whereas when I started coming here, like they was always pushing me, like, oh, like you can do it, like telling me you will make it, like we're gonna change you, like we believe in you, like we're gonna push you so you do get there to prove them wrong, like you, like we believe in you. Like they was always there, just always helping. It really does make me feel good about myself and Miss Hawley as well. Like I could always go to her. She just understands. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Like, she listens as well, and she always has really good advice. So I look back and I think that like, I shouldn't have done so many of those things. Especially now in year 11, like, they're thinking back like, oh, do you remember this in year 10? And I'm like, oh, like, I wasn't here, like, I was excluded. Like, and now I'm having to come back and like, work on that when everyone else is now ahead. Like, so it makes you realise that I shouldn't have done that. It was a bad choice. I started as a midday meal supervisor in the hope that at some point I would be able to you know, get a foot in the door for a teaching assistant and then it just kind of spiralled from there. I was offered a job when I finished my 
level two. The school then put me on a course to do level three. I then kind of specialised in certain areas of SEN, so I was quite a big member of the, of the SEN team for quite a while, and working specifically with our autistic children. And then I needed a bit more of a challenge, and the school supported me, so I went on to become a curriculum facilitator for the maths department, and it was at that time that I realised I actually really love maths. I left for a short period of time to have a baby, and when I came back, Mr Tomlinson offered me uh, the opportunity to become a teacher, a maths teacher. So through the school, I was offered the opportunity to actually do my degree, which is something I would have never been able to have done before. Um, obviously, having a family of my own, I needed to work. So having to give up work and go to university was not really an option for me, and funding was also an issue. Um, and of course, the school heavily subsidised my degree and supported me all the way through. I love the kids. I love the people that I work with. I love the whole support systems that we have in place. We're really supportive of each other. And I love that, that we all have really high expectations for our students. We don't leave anyone behind. We make these students as a school, and all of the members of staff make these students believe that they can actually achieve something in life. And then I'm proof of that. I think they just give you lots of opportunities and lots of different ways for you to want to improve and achieve. The CPD is brilliant, but everyone's really friendly and gets on and that's quite nice. So I didn't achieve my maths GCSE at secondary school. Through, again, the school and everyone supporting, I went to loads of maths lessons and I had lots of maths teachers helping me and guiding me through. And I sat my GCSE maths exam probably about four years ago now and I passed with a C. I think in this school I can really maximise my craft because the CPD opportunities are second to none. The teachers here especially, we hold each other to account and it's from the standpoint of them being a critical friend. So any feedback that I get, it always moves my teaching forward. Sometimes at home life can be a bit challenging because with my mum's disabilities um, I have to take on a lot of the roles at home, especially when my dad isn't around. She was diagnosed with um, fibromyalgia. Sometimes she'll have energy and sometimes she won't and sometimes she'll feel a lot better and then she'll just have a flare-up and lots of like her limbs, like her hands and her legs will swell up and she won't be able to move. It affects me in school because sometimes say a carer's not in in time to look after mum, I'll have to come in a little later to school and sometimes I'll have to leave early if she's not well. I worry in lessons if she's all right so it kind of distracts me from the tasks that I'm setting in class. To be honest, I didn't come into this year with the mindset to try and achieve, but Miss Brown has really pushed me to doing that. She's pushed me a lot this year, and she's just worked me hard and inspired me to do well this year. When at the beginning of this year, you told me I was the most important child in year 11 because I had the biggest target. I was scared of what people would, might think of me and if they would judge me on who I was inside and not what I was on the outside. So the nurses are like Mr Bailey, I can always turn to them and they'll, always, they will always help me with what I need them to help me with. It makes me feel special inside, it makes me feel high self-esteem. I think the school is proud of me because I've, I've got more confidence in myself, I'm more proud of who I am and the school if none of it would be possible if the school hadn't have helped me and it makes me feel really really confident. I feel more than safe here, I feel really safe here. It's just amazing the help that I've got from everyone. I first started as a teaching assistant and in seven years I'm now an assistant principal and actually if it wasn't for the school and the opportunities that have been presented to me well it just wouldn't have happened. So I feel like I'm actually giving back to the community. Just such a rewarding moment when the students, when you see them get something and they learn something, you see it in their eyes and you feel like actually responsible for that. Staff incredibly friendly, all very collaborative and everyone's willing to pitch in and support each other. It's great that everyone seems to be here for the same reason, the right reason, which is to help the students. Just the amount of CPD that I had was incredible. Um, I had not only the training with my federation, but every single Wednesday I had training here, um, gaining ground. I had an incredible mentor. My department were just so supportive. There was never a day that I felt stuck or didn't know what to do or had nobody to speak to. Every single member of the school was there to support the beginner teachers.
The pastoral team are incredible as well in helping you understand your students and get to know them better and RJ conversations, it's just really, really supportive. School has changed my life in a way that I never thought it would do. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to come to work. I annoyingly, to my friends, spend the weekends chatting about my work, chatting about the ideas, the things that are coming up, the things that I want to do in work, the things that I want to bring to work every day. It's become a part of my life and I absolutely love it. And working as well, especially in year 11, working with Sue Cable and all the SLT members that have came together to help the year 11s, it's a real bond and experience this year. It's just, it is, it's one big extended family and I think that that's what's important is that we see the kids as just an extension of our family and we care about them and we want them to do well and we work together to make sure that happens. I left this school at the end of the 11 to go to an independent school because I thought it would be better for me. I thought they would be able to offer something that was better than this school. I went there and I realised that this school was just as good, if not better. So I came back and it was an amazing decision. It was the right decision and I feel like, you know, I should have never gone in the first place. The way the school has changed my life is through the support of the teachers. The teachers have given their time, their free time, they have given days after school weekends in order to help and support people like me who sometimes need extra help and then I feel like when I go to my teachers and ask them for help they're more than willing to help me they're more than willing to give up time and I also love the drive of the school you know the head teacher always stresses on our motto pace purpose and pride and I feel like those three words have really helped to mold who I am today because I'm always working towards that with the people that you work with, everybody has a, either a line manager or somebody that they can speak to. And I feel everyone has the opportunity to say, this is where I am now, this is where I want to be in a year, how is it that I can get there? I'm not going to lie, like, they, can be, they can be challenging in terms of the behaviour, but I just think that makes you a far better teacher because of it. Because I just feel like I can walk into most classrooms now and I'm able to you know, deal with any situation that I'm faced. Part of my role is to go into lots of schools and uh, evaluate them with their senior leadership team and, and support them and develop new teams and, and all the best teachers I've ever seen have been in this school at some point. So it's a fantastic staff to work with. As far as I'm concerned, why wouldn't I want to be a part of that? But actually, these children come here, they work really, really hard. They're really grateful. Uh, they, they give it their all and they, yeah, they do make mistakes. But, but you can see them leaving the school as adults or nearly adults with, 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 a, with a great future ahead of them. I think it's an, a great place to work in the sense of transforming lives and actually having a, a genuine difference, um, adding genuine value to society, transforming individuals and their communities. I would recommend the school for any teacher that's looking to develop their craft. It is high pace, it is high energy, and sometimes you have to learn to forward plan. I think that's the key idea. If you come to a Harris Academy or any academy for that matter, you have to realise that uh, they're employing the best and the brightest. And if you come into an academy such as this one, the expectation is high on all teachers to perfect their craft. I do think I've become a better teacher as a result of being here at uh, Harris Academy Greenwich. And it's mainly due to the fact that the teachers here are quite supportive and I'm constantly learning. You're just learning from the best people, you know. Everybody has you know, a lot of professional pride here. Every time they go into the lesson, they want to make sure it's the best, best lesson possible. I just love absolutely everything about them. Every single class you teach has a different group of personalities in it. Just every single day is different. They're very challenging at times, but I think that's what makes this so much more rewarding in the sense that you know that you're helping students who probably need it more than anybody else. It's a family, that's what it is. We help each other out, we do what we can to support each other. There were lots of reasons why, obviously, um, I chose to come here instead of uh, the grammar school because I know when I went to the open day there, I could see that there wasn't a lot of like togetherness. That the, the, the students there and the teachers, there was sort of a, a, a gap between them, and I, I don't know, I didn't like that so much. I like to talk to teachers that relate to you and talk to you more and make you feel comfortable at school. They're more together, they, they actually understand where you're coming from, what, what problems you have, they'll understand them. Because of the teaching, it's more fun here. Yeah, they are really passionate about this subject. Um, they really want to come in, they really want to teach you, they really want you to learn. Last year in the summer, I, I got four A's at AES level. In year 11, I got 
nine A stars and three A's. Yeah, at, at the moment I ho I'm hoping to get into Cambridge and I think that does show uh, how, how far the school has gone. I'm very excited uh, for the future. I, I honestly can't wait for it. I do definitely think that the school's changed my life for the better. In the future, I would like to see myself going to university, um, hopefully Surrey, that's my first choice, and studying midwifery. Mr Boucher, especially after like mock exams, he would sit down with you one on one and would go through every single question so you knew in your next exam how you could improve. Miss Massey makes me feel more proud of myself. She gives me the confidence that what I'm doing is really good. Like when I'm kind of not feeling sure about my personal statement, she's like, actually, this is, like, this is really good. So she kind of reassures me to like, okay, I've got this, I can do it. There's so many teachers who care for you that you can go to choose, talk to, and I'll look back and feel like this school has definitely helped me to achieve. If you had given up, I, I really wouldn't be here right now. I appreciate everything they've done for me, like stuck by me, listen to me, like thank you so much, like it honestly has changed me so much. This school is one of the best schools in Britain, literally it's the school I love to come to, it's the school that's helped me, it's the school that's made me change who I am and be confident with who I am and not just hide it all inside of me, like I am Re, I am not Ryan. Anybody who comes here should be excited for the future because they're going to get pushed in a way where they have no choice but to be excited for the future. Because that's all the school ever tells us is that we're going to go places. Thank you.